Today, in just a few lines and with a free Gmail account, I'm going to show you how you can send email and text alerts to yourself in any program you do from now on. Now, I use this to check if servers are alive at work, to see if my bots are still running, and sometimes as an air check in my programs. And I just import it from a file like this. Before I forget, if you haven't joined, please join our Discord. We got a totally free, no advertisements Discord that's just about programmers helping out programmers. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It really helps. I just have this small channel, so I appreciate every subscriber or like or comment. And let's not waste any more time and jump right in. So as you can see here, I have Visual Studio open. That's where I'm gonna write my script. You can write your script wherever you would like, wherever you want to edit Python. If you don't have Python installed, you can reference this video to install Anaconda. It will get you Python installed and Spider IDE, so you have an IDE to write code in and the language itself installed, and then you can follow right along with me. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna set up our script and then we're gonna create our Gmail account. We have to do some things to change around in Gmail so it'll allow us to send through our program. So the first thing I'm gonna do is import some libraries here. The first one is import smtp lib. The second is from email.message import email message. And I think that's all the libraries we need to get started here. So if you run this program, it should import both those libraries successfully. If it doesn't, you need to install these libraries if you haven't used them before. So all you need to do is do pip install and then the library name. Once you have those two libraries imported and installed, we can go ahead and create our function. Now I'm gonna create a function because I wanna be able to import this into other programs or do different things with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a function. I'm gonna say def, I'm just gonna call it email alert. And inside this function, I'm gonna pass it the subject, which is gonna be the subject of my message, the body of the message, and the to address. Now I'm gonna create my message itself from the library above. So I'm gonna just create a variable called msg, you could call it whatever you wanted. And I'm gonna say email message, and that's gonna create my message from this library. On my message, I'm gonna call a method on that object, and it's going to be set content and I'm gonna set it to whatever I passed in for the body of the message. Now I need to set up my email and my password I'm gonna use. So I'm going to go ahead and create a brand new Gmail account. You can use your Gmail if you want, or you can create a new one with me. But do note, as with my other videos, I'm gonna just show you my password here. This is not my real password. I'm going to change it after this, so you have to create your own account. Don't try to use mine. All right, so I went ahead and created a new Gmail account so I could show you some of the things you have to set up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a variable for my Gmail user. I'm just gonna set it user equal to, and then my new email address. As you can see, it is a cool one. And I'm gonna set my password equal to, and the password to my new email account. I'm gonna go ahead and up here, I'm gonna also set the subject of my email that I set above. So I'm gonna say MSG subject. I'm gonna set that equal to whatever I passed into this function for my subject. And I'm gonna do something similar for the two variable. So I'm gonna say MSG two, and I'm gonna set that equal to whatever I passed in in the two parameter up above. So now we have our email set up, we have our password set up. Now we have to ha set some server parameters. So I'm gonna set my server equal to and now is where I'm gonna use my SMTP library from above. I'm gonna say smtplib.smtp, and I'm gonna set it to Gmail's SMTP server, which is smtp.gmail.com. And I'm gonna use port 587. Now I can work with this server variable that I just created. So I'm gonna say server.starttls, which is just a setting Gmail requires. And then I'm gonna go ahead and try and log in. So I'm gonna say server.login, and I'm gonna pass it my username and my password. So I stored those as user and password. And then after it's done, I'm just gonna say server quit. So now I'm gonna write a quick test method so we can test this because it's actually gonna fail right now. So I'm gonna say if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals underscore, underscore, main, underscore, underscore. 
So what this is doing, it's saying, hey, if this is the actual main program that's being run, go ahead and run this code here. And if it's not the main program we're running, it's not gonna run it. So it's not always gonna run this test if we import this code into another program or something like that. So here we're just gonna try and call our function. So we're gonna call email alert. Now we chose the parameters of this, so we have to follow that order. We could have chose any order. Again, me putting subject first and to last might be different than how you would have done it, and you can switch it around however you would like. But we're gonna follow our structure that we set up here. So the subject, I'm just gonna say, hey, the body, I'm gonna say, hello world. Stay pretty classic there. And my test email, I'm gonna use my, I'm gonna send it to my real email address, jake at claritycoders.com. That should be it. So let's go ahead and run this. And you'll see we get an error. It says our username and password are not accepted. So to set up our Gmail account to use third-party apps, we have to do some extra stuff to our email. And I'm gonna show you that here, but basically we need to set up two-factor authentication and we also need to get an app password instead of just our regular email password. So while you're logged into your account that you're trying to send this email from, so whatever that is, if it's your normal email or a new email that you set up, we're gonna go to this URL, which is myaccount.google.com. Once you get there, we're gonna go to security and we're gonna set up two-step verification. Now you have to do this in order to get an app password and you have to have an app password to use a third-party app to send emails. So we're gonna go ahead and click that, get started. You're gonna have to log in again. You have some options here. You can do whatever way you would like. I'm gonna go ahead and just send myself a text message. And you can see that it worked. I can go ahead and turn on my two-step verification. Now, once you've done that, you can click this little back button. And now you can see we have a new option here. We have an app passwords. So go ahead and click that. Have to enter your password again. And I'm just gonna set for my app, I'm gonna say other. I'm just gonna call it email alerts for me and generate. And you can see here that it gave me an app password to use. So I can grab that, go back to my program, and I'm gonna replace my old password with that new app password they gave me. Again, remember you have to use all your own stuff. I'm gonna wipe out this account. And from here, you can go ahead and run this. And it would help, this email address was actually with dots, not with underscores. And we also need to set the from, where this message is coming from as well. So I'm gonna say msg from equals, and I'm gonna use the same email that I had below here. So I'll actually move this down below, and then I can use that variable. And we forgot the most important part, we need to actually send our message. So we're gonna do server.send message send underscore message actually. Now, as you can see here from the screenshot of my phone, you can see that I got my email alert at this email address. Now I told you earlier that we could use this to send text message alerts as well. So I wanna show you how to do that really quick. You check out this website that I'll link here. It shows you different carriers, what email address you can add on to your 10 digit phone number if you're in the United States at least to send a text message alert. So I have Verizon so I can use this at vtext.com. So I'm gonna come back into my program. I'll clear out my number for you guys, but, and you'll see that just making that little change, you can see from this screenshot, I get a similar exchange, except this time it came to my phone as a text message instead of an email alert. So you can use it either way. Now you can simply import this function in any project you have and set it up to send email alerts. If you wanna see more of that, I can do that in the next video. For right now, you should have a working email and text message alert system. Again, please subscribe if you can. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. Hop in the Discord if you wanna chat live with me and other programmers like us. And until next time, keep coding.